Is it possible to build a representative model of the human gut? HUMIX, which stands for Human Microbial Crosstalk, is the solution researchers at the Luxembourg Center for Systems Biomedicine of the University of Luxembourg have come up with after many years of development. The model can simulate the living conditions of microorganisms in the gut as well as those of human cells, a pioneering invention that grants scientists entirely new insights into human health and disease. In the gut, about 1,500 different species of microorganisms exist, many of which grow only under oxygen-free conditions. This is why bacteria, which are introduced and cultured in the model, are grown without the presence of oxygen. At the core of the technology are spirally shaped microfluidic chambers. Inside, only a thin permeable membrane separates bacteria and nutrients from human gut epithelial cells, while still allowing communication between both layers. Through supply and discharge lines, specialized culture media are pumped through the spiral and all internal compartments are kept sterile before inoculation of the device with bacteria. A typical experiment will run for 10 days. Humix can be used in screening microorganisms for potential beneficial effects such as anti-inflammatory properties which may influence diseases such as allergies or autoimmune disorders. In the context of certain diseases you see differences in the microbiome. But now the big question is of course, uh, is it chicken or egg? Because you don't know if the difference that you see is a consequence of the disease or if it's actually related to disease, if it might be even causing the disease. And what people have been for the most part relying on are in fact animal models, more specifically mice. But mice are quite different from humans. And so what we set out to do was to develop this model because with this model we can actually look at responses of human cells in relation to specific microbiome compositions. And, and that allows us to have a much better model that is much more relevant from a human disease and health perspective. Humix is one of LCSB's flagship projects. On the occasion of a visit to the center, it has been presented to Her Royal Highness Princess Leia of Belgium. Many applications for this in vitro model of the human gastrointestinal tract are possible. It is also highly interesting for industry. We developed the Humix technology to actually fulfill a niche uh, requirement that we had in, in our research at LCSB. We didn't realize at that point that there was a similar need also in the industry of a technology which could also help them develop better products. So we have now been talking to a lot of industrial uh, players and partners in the food industry as well as the pharma industry and together with them now we're going to develop the humix technology into the microgut platform which we would like to help uh, like the, the industry to use and develop better products for the microbiome world. We can for example look at how different diets along with different microbiome compositions how they might affect human cell physiology how that might be related then to beneficial health effects or how it might actually be detrimental to human health. We can in specifically look at how you have a different microbiome from me, how you have different genetics from me, and we can put in cells from individuals and see how those cells respond maybe differently to certain drugs with certain microbiomes and start really understanding how we might want to formulate drug therapies in a very personalized way. After the experiment, samples are thoroughly analyzed using different high throughput omics techniques to look at changes in the human cells. For example, immune responses or gene expression differences. Also, the RNA in the samples is measured to find out which genes are switched on or off under specific human bacterial co-culture conditions. By combining different methods and approaches, Humix has been successfully developed to a stage where it can now be applied at larger scale in many fields of research. A pertinent example of interdisciplinary work at the interface of fundamental science and practical application.